Hello everybody and welcome to the Cheryl Technology Channel. You are in my basement right now and we are about to start our video for the computer. We're going to Proxmox on the little mini computer and let's just get right into it. So as you can see here everybody we have our computer. So this is our NVMe drive right here. So this computer you can see it's got a little mini fan and on the back here it has a, a display port for USB 3.0. O's, I believe, an Ethernet, a VGA, and then two display ports. Whoops, sorry. And there's your CMOS battery right there. Um, so what we're going to do with this one, and then in the front it's got USB-C and all that. And this is the cover for it right here, an Elite Desk. Oops. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this computer, and we're going to put Proxmox on it, and we're going to set it up. And then I will be back shortly after I get the USB drive made so that we can do an ISO image. And we'll rip that, we'll put that on there and have at it. Hello everybody, and here we are on my desk, which is a god-awful mess. Here we go. Here's our USB. This is what we're going to do. Let's go over to my table here. Hello everybody, and we're back. Let's go ahead and boot this machine up. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, let's see, escape apparently the escape button so what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the boot menu here let's see if i can keep removing this we're going to hit enter and then we're going to go to this cruiser glide there we go and then we're going to install it okay so we're going to install the graphical proxmox and so okay we got to accept the end user license agreement and then verify blah 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 that's the one we wanted on yes country is usa and then europe time zone what united states right there okay so we're going to do next and then we're going to do a password which will be this and what's interesting about this this particular project is that it's going to be okay so after it installs it's going to reboot okay and i'll be back after that okay everybody now it looks like we're ready to go now we're going to move to the computer we're going to remote into this thing and we're going to throw in a couple we're going to do some magic here in just a minute okay y'all hang on just stay tuned for just a second and we're back at the computer now and in this part we're going to be logging in so it looks like it you saw that it was up and running on the other part it was up and running on the on the little desktop and now we're logging in so this was the this is the port number that the server is listening on and this is the ip on my local network this part's a protocol okay so we're going to click advanced because we're using uh, mozilla we're going to log in dude that is fast bro that's freaking fast okay now we got it up and running so now what we're going to do is we're going to go download a couple of distros here well one we're going to get one specifically then we have to create like a there's a local storage where you got to send the iso file so we're going to do ubuntu server we'll get 2204 let's download it now we're back now let's go in here now that we've downloaded um it right here we got it now that's the only thing we need for right now we're going to look go down to this local pve we're going to go to iso images we're going to upload because we're uploading to the server from our desk computer we're going to click that verify it and then we're going to upload now most of the times most people would verify that hash algorithm not me though i'm a daredevil i live on the edge so that's what we're going to do we're going to upload that that's uploaded now what we're going to do we're going to create a new vm we're going to call it call it a uh, unify up oh, we're going to put a dash in between these so that that can be a valid name iso image we're going to select the one we just uploaded i've done videos on this already so next 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 okay 32 gigs should be more than enough so we're going to click next this one it depends on the processor you have we're going to just do one socket and two cores so we're going to click next ram we're going to do uh we're going to start with 2048 since it's ubuntu server you don't need as much and then vm bridge so the bridge is like a switch that you plug that you plug ports into okay then we're going to click finish oh man this thing is quite fast dude all right there we go so you notice that a question mark now it's got the little image so we're going to click start and then we're going to go through the process of installing it and see how fast it is because that nvme is running not only the virtual machine but it's running proxmox on top of that that's why i'd like to get me one of those mini pcs with like two slots two nvme slots one for the vms and one for the things but i'm trying to get away from this waiting for the cloud int okay english just done 109 whatever that's good done and it's going to test the mirror location for upgrading or updating it's an archive mirror though mirror pass test yes we're gonna do an lvm group logical volume management click done done yes we do want to continue now i'm gonna do all this server's name we're gonna do unify dash controller now some people may ask me why do you do that i like it to look neat i like to have dashes between things and stuff okay we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do this okay then we're gonna hit tab and then done enter continue uh yes we do want we don't 
do we do want open SSH? Because we that's how we're going to manage it technically. Once it's done, I will. Um, I'm going to stop the video here, everybody, because this part's going to take about five, ten minutes, and I don't want to record for that long because I've got all the info I need. So in this video, we looked at how to install it onto a flash drive. We installed Ubuntu or uh, Proxmox on a flash drive. Y'all saw me install it on the computer. You saw the insides of it, where it was going to be installed, and this is the end result right here. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. May the Lord bless and keep each and every one of you. And if you don't know him personally, reach out to me at CherylTechnology at gmail.com. That is CherylTechnology at gmail.com. I'll be glad to debate with you, to talk to you, or to lead you to him, whichever you desire. And that is all for this video, everybody. I really hope you enjoy this one and it gives you some inspiration to do something different. Thank y'all for watching. Peace, everybody.